Hi guys, so here's something I just came across when I was working uh, with DevonThink, an excellent program for filing and finding stuff. And on the other hand, I'm using Bibdesk in order to manage my library that I'm using for the referencing for my writing. Now, the problem that I came into was that having used Bibdesk first and keeping, I mean, I still use it because it's very good at um, creating the right citations for me and managing my um, my uh, bibliography database that I need for writing. Um, I just recently started using uh, DevonThink and uh, I find it's really, really good at, at all sorts of document management for various reasons. But when I was importing all my basically scanned documents and downloaded documents, which all are PDFs, into DevonThink, I came out at something like that. And if you look closely, you can see, well, you see those arbitrary file names, which may or may not have anything to do with uh, what actually you are reading. For example, here, I have some scientific article, and it comes as some number file. And then I have the author field, and I have the title field, and I have the keywords. So what I'd like to see is actually to have those values populated by whatever I may have actually entered into BibDesk because that's where I actually enter all the metadata. Now it would obviously be awesome to have a combination of the two so that I'd need just one program. Um, at the moment I don't have that. Maybe it's going to come at the moment when um, actually Devon Think will allow us to have metadata for every document that we can edit and define and add our own metadata fields. At the moment that's not possible. So what I came up with is a small solution and I'm just going to show to you how it works. If you want to have it, just send me an email and I'm also going to blog about it soon. So send me an email and I'm going to send you the code. Right? It's rather simple and let's see how that works. Now close this. So I have some book over here, right? And I have all the metadata entered already in BibDev. So let's start with that. And I want to have that, I just started having a new group over here, actually no, here. And I want to have them over there, right? But what I want to have is m several things. I want to see the metadata here, like I see this with this sample document, right? And what I also want to have is that when I see that document somewhere in BibDesk, I want actually, I want it to open in the place where actually DevonThink sees it. Um, now, BibDesk is quite good at uh, linking to DevonThink because it has a certain typical way of uh, of understanding the URLs that you may have. So, for example, take this, and if we open it, then you can see all the metadata. And if I open that file, then I can see the document. And if I look into where it actually is stored, can see that it has just read it actually from Devon Things database. So that's nice, but how can I link them? Now the way I link it over is I wrote a script and I put it I, uh, put it into a key combination. So let's use a new book that I have over here. So we want to have this book with all its metadata showing up in Devon Think. Now what I do is this. I just take it from here and pull it over and drop it. Okay, it's a big reader so it takes a little while to actually copy it over. For the normal article it's instantaneous. Now let's click over here and here you can see it's a pretty big thing, right? So all the book is in here. Now the metadata is wrong as you can see that it's untitled, no author field. Now what I've now done is I've actually created a key combination and a program. So that is an Apple script which will then invoke a Java program I've written and that Java program will then do f f the following. It will actually take the metadata from DevonThink and put it into the PDF's metadata. Right? So let's try that. I'm going to invoke that script now. And that's what's happening. Now you see it's twice over here. And you see this was all already. That's all already. It was like doing this now on 560 pages. And it says, I've set the author to Peter Atrill and title to whatever. And here's also merged the annotations, if there were any keywords. 
I click OK over here and the topmost book, since it's already active, I can just say delete. If I now notice over here this metadata now suddenly is correct. So that's the thing, right? Suddenly you have the correct metadata and then you will end up with something like, which I have over here in this database, all sorts of metadata fields, which actually makes sense. Then I can sort by author, I can sort by title, and it makes kind of sense what I'm looking at rather than having something that I had before where it's just garbage in here, right? Why would I be interested in the DOI name? But that's how the PDFs were written. So what I'm doing, I'm just writing the metadata of the PDFs. And DevonThink actually picks up that metadata from the PDF. So that's what I wanted to show to you. And I think it's kind of interesting and, and quite useful to, to organize and have them both play together. Because what you also saw was that for the fee, for the document that I had highlighted in DevonThink and the document that I had highlighted in Bibdesk, those two are now linked together. So thanks for watching.